looking dapper. Well, given that, then, there's no point in building most of these. Let me, uh, cut them down. We've got this massive surplus of power. I'm not quite sure what's causing the fluctuations. But, uh, we don't need it, then. I'll allow a couple more to be built, but... In fact, we could probably just... Oh, no, I'll let them be built. It's fine. It's fine for now. Again, the electronics up there is going to be the porch. Um, I'm going to add an additional... Um, hmm? Oh, right, right, yeah. Well, there's not too much I can do about that. Um, that's Mother Nature for you, unfortunately. What? What I'll have to do is drop the green screen. Given that, then, do you want me to uh, turn off the face cam? Since you're going to see just the back of my room for the rest of it now. Is that ready to go? Yes. Let's get you out of there, then. I know, stupid son. Always ruining things. Summon some clouds. Maybe. But yeah, that's that's the bare wall of, of my office. I'm hoping to once I can uh got money to get it just a, a nice couch back there, maybe some lights, uh some shelving or something. Uh how's things going? Pretty good actually. Not doing too badly at all. How's things going down here? Very good. Only a little bit of concrete needed and we're actually ready to move. <gasps> yes! Okay, so we need a couple of things. Uh, let me just go and check. What did we need? Water... Oxygen, food, and a looking dapper. So water. So it's slightly a different design now. Actually, no, no, we're not going to build it there. I'll build it down here instead. So. Water. Oxygen. Power. And food. I think Tilly wants to come in. I'll have to double check on that in a second. There. And finally, pop down the lights as well.
Actually, I'm going to need to build a... Uh, a... Drone hub here. But before I do that, I need to go and check on that. just gone and let her in because she w I could see her silhouette against my curtains and now it's gone it's a magic cat if I place this here how what kind of range has it got it's got enough range to do everything I would want so yeah let's get that going Some more metals hold. <laughs> oh, but I was I was about to open the window. If she just waited. Poor Tilly. Poor Tilly. Derpy Tilly. There we go. How many have you got? Right, okay. Well, I'm going to leave you. And then we're heading out of here. There we are. We should be able to get all of that set up and actually start moving people into this dome pretty much as soon as we want. Uh, let's go ahead and build statue and two fountain. Uh, well, a fountain and a small garden as the starts. Let's go and have a look then. Now, in terms of where we want to be, we want to be over here quite badly. We also want you over here quite badly, so let's go. I am going to build a quick universal drop-off point, and I'll just have the drones build a couple of lines of power so that we've got someone we can go and recharge. Starting to look better now in terms of the uh, amount of fuel that we have. And we've even got this. Excellent. Uh, I don't need you working on that shift. Wow, look at that. So many engineers brimming with enthusiasm. This is really good, actually. Uh, right, I would like available drone prefab zero, scheduled drone prefab zero, required electronics zero. Uh, drone prefabs can be used to order new drones in drone hubs, drone prefab cost one electronics. We're gonna hold off on that for now. How many have we got? Oh, I've got a couple, so let's, uh, well, no, let's go and get six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once that's available, this one is going to get an upgrade because, frankly, we need a lot more drones. Until today, the only place we'd thought you could find Ice-15 outside of a lab was on an icy planet or a moon. And here we find it on Mars. Ice-15 is a super dense phase of water ice which is formed in extremely cold and extremely high pressure environments. It turns out that the unique geological history of Mars allowed a small quantity of Ice-15 to form under the crust. Even though we didn't confirm any substantial deposit of water, this discovery would cause uproar in the scientific communities and draw significant attention to our efforts on the Red Planet. Our sponsors immediately provided us with tools to discover more about the effects of Martian geology on the formation of underground ice. Nice. That was a pretty uh, hefty bit of uh, 
Um, bit of money there. Let's get you working over here. What do I want? I want this to be changed to that. That one. Uh, actually, I kind of like all this. Right, now, the big thing with with this area. The big thing with this area. Ooh, status idle. Is it not drawing power? Huh. Why is that then? What's the power network like? Demand is fairly high. Demand is shockingly high. That I don't understand. Oh wait. Does this draw power itself? A no. gleam it endowment. Strange. Very strange. Oh, thank you very much, everyone, Duck. A morning cup of tea for Avak while I sip my... Good morning. Good morning to you, too. It is shockingly bright in here. I do apologize. Um, what I would like is for all of these to be upgraded in terms of their power generation. Ah, of course. This is drawing a lot more power now. Right, of course. Oh, of course. Right. We've got available prefabs. Construct a drone. Womp. Let's get more drones out there. Chop, chop. We've got plenty of polymers now. We're, we're actually generating a, a hefty amount. A very generous amount. Uh, right, so what we're going to want to do, let's have a look. How is our research going? Our research is doing reasonably well. So, how are we going to expand into this dome? Well, first and foremost, we want uh, some habitats. I'm going to say two to start with. And immediately following that, we're going to want a couple of facilities to uh, make time in this dome pleasant. Let's say a diner, so that we've immediately got some food. A an infirmary. Oh, actually, let me take this away. Let me get rid of that one first. Uh, let's try and focus these. I would love to bring both um, factories over here. Um, actually, given that right now farms largely increase a colony's happiness we're gonna pop a farm down there straight away as well and add an extra um, load point for food I'm gonna cancel this for now don't need that there I would like metals to be stored right there this one, there we go. Okay. It's going to make a bit of a difference. Are we still losing? Yes, we are still losing. How much network? Well, we've got a reasonable bunch sat there. Maybe what we need to do is order another batch. In fact, yes. We want a lot more electronic parts. Bring all of the electronic parts. I don't want to have to think about them too much. Well, that many. Um, I don't want to have to think about them too much for a while. Um, I could have you bring along some drones. They don't cost much. 
Alternatively, yeah, just leafy leaf in one. Come along with that. I'm going to invest in some outsourcing. It's been a while since I had the opportunity to. I would very much like to be able to get some more going. And a little bit more besides. There we go. Sorted. Right, with that, we'll get these set up. Each one is going to require a fair chunk of polymers. Not too much we can do about that. Thank you very much for the subscription, young anarchist. I hope you're enjoying the stream. And on that note, Avak, you're starting to exceed my endurance. I unfortunately should sleep. Much as I'd like another few hours of stream time, good night and thank you for the excellent stream. Oh, you're more than welcome. I'm really, really glad that you enjoyed the stream. Really glad you enjoyed the stream. Uh, trying to decide how I want to set this up. I am going to want a diner. That, that is an absolute given. I might even want two for the amount of people that are going to be working here. Hmm. No, I'd rather not go for two. Um, but, yeah, a diner is, uh, is a given. A luxury... Uh, 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 sorry, uh, an art workshop is another. And... See, those are so precious. I'm really just dis disinclined to offer those out. We'll get an infirmary down here. Like so. And pop in a small alley. There we go. That should be decent. That'll cover the, the basics to begin with. I would love to have this place be a focus for work. Now, depending on how much, how many people I get living here, I could have jobs in either one of these. Cancel that one. I'm thinking I'm going to go for two farms. Because I really, really want to go heavy in on the uh, the population here. And two. And for the time being, I'm just going to turn off building certain things. Don't need that being built. Don't need that being built yet. We just want that one first, and then the the aman uh, amenities. Uh... Cable fault reported. Pipe leak reported. Oh dear. Where? Okay, that's not the worst one in the world, so just shut down that pipe valve. Where's the cable fault? Okay, shut down that and shut down this. Uh, no, allow, continue to allow um, energy through there. That should be fine. It'll take them a little while to fix all of that. Uh, however, down here, I'm going to want... Oh, wow. Why is this place not getting water or power? Don't tell me that somehow affected it. Might have. Uh... Turn on the fuel consumption, just in case. Um, yeah, we are definitely getting to the point where I'm going to need to get better fuel set up. Uh, better energy set up. For the time being, though, let's just get a couple more solar... Uh, sorry, uh, wind turbines up and running. Uh, 
height fault has been fixed. Good. Dust storm approaching. And the cable has been fixed. Good. Yeah, for some reason that affected it. Hmm. That is not so great, honestly. I am not best pleased with that one. Uh, however, need to pop down some valves, I just realised. So let's pop down a pipe valve there as well. Right. At any rate, I want to get these up and running as soon as we can. I would very much like some uh, scientific institutes. Research here. complete. I'm not sure how big that is. Gene adaptation. Yes. Right. Let's go and have a look. That is going to radically increase Cable the amount of uh, food that we can get. So, previously we had soybeans to give us a plus 10%. We've now got cover crops, uh, cover crops, which give half as much, um, actually much more than half as much, uh, less than half as much um, return as soybeans in terms of food. Use a little bit more water. But four times more effective at increasing the, the soil um, quality. We're using potatoes for our kind of cash crop, which depletes the soil by 10%, gives us 45 food and five sols. We've now got uh, corn, which does the same in terms of um, soil quality and time, but generates. 20 more food. So that's an obvious one. Uh, there's wheat, which just generates food quickly. Quinoa. We could get 40 food in the same amount of time now as one soybean. Uh, actually, technically, we'd get 50 food in the same amount of time as one crop of soybeans, which is uh, almost 20 more food. But it wouldn't have the soil improving quality. However, if you go for fruit trees, take a little while longer. By a little, I mean a lot longer. But look at that yield. That is an amazing yield. Also produces a lot of oxygen, as it happens. So... Yeah, we're going to be going with fruit trees. I'm not sure I'm going to have a second one of that because it does take eight sols to do it. But we'll see. Either way, it's really good. And while it's doing that, it's producing massive amounts of, of oxygen. Uh, what building is not working? Ah, uh, well, that's fine then. That's normal. Completely normal. We've got many things to be delivered as well. So let's get those down there. Go and grab this. Get a little bit more research going. Once we've got the arcology, our root living space problems will be gone. And once we've got that, it makes a lot of sense for us to actually uh, get this breakthrough, which is really cheap as it happens. Stupidly cheap, in fact. So we'll go for that. Uh, but this will mean that uh, residents in the arcology. We'll get a boost to work performance based on the number of unique perks and specializations of, co of colonists living in the arcology. So they're basically just sharing their knowledge, which is particularly useful, I think. Then we can get Martian Born. One of the other Martian Born buffs. We could build moisture farming, uh, get the moisture evaporator, which means that no matter, we're not limited then to getting moisture from the ground. Uh, from... Uh, deposit which will eventually run out uh, we could just gather it from the atmosphere I would say after that honestly the next best one for me would be to grab this I would say I 
we should be making decent progress. Now, what are we going to name this dome? Thinking about it. That's a good, good point. Uh, right. Hello, Bear. Uh, we're going to be going with... Enigmatic Rose Dome. There you are. Uh, also, I don't need these pinned. You need more prefabs. There you are. Perfect. Uh, for now, I don't need anyone else in here. It's just not needed. I don't even need... need what we've got there, honestly. What's the... Well... We're not actually shifting around the... Untrained, which is kind of painful. We need a lot more people. Anomaly analyzed. Excellent. Two buildings not working. Cable fault reported. Pipe leak reported. Oh, you stop breaking. There's nothing I can do about that particular pipe leak. It's cable fault. There's nor is there anything I can do about that one either because it would isolate uh, too many of my. Uh, well, it would completely remove a lot of my energy production. All right, let's get you over here. You can scan that. We've got a decent water deposit there that we can tap into if we need to. This one is actually getting low. Wow. Uh, that one, that that's worrying. It's quite worrying, actually. Yeah, we're really starting to, to um, dip into our food supplies now. Really, really quickly starting to dip into those food supplies. We need to resolve that. Right, what I would like this to make is, um... Vehicle battery low. Quinoa, sure, I suppose. And then apples and corn. Actually, I would, I would really prefer lots of apples than corn. And we'll get the solid quality all the way up if we can. Sponsor funding, fantastic. What are we waiting on here? We're just waiting on a tiny bit of polymer. Once we get that, I imagine we're going to see people moving across. Now then, what do we want to do? The anomaly to turned out to be one of the most well-preserved asteroid impacts in our area. Oh. No geologist could ever put a price on it. And yet, we get money. Earth scientists had long wondered about the effect of ancient asteroid impacts on the Martian climate and geology. Several missions had been sent to gather data about these primordial events, but the landers failed, as if the Red Planet wanted to keep some of its secrets for itself. Generations had passed until we managed to send a successful expedition to lift the Shroud of Mystery. With the data we gathered from the site, our colleagues on Earth will have material for years of research. Maybe we would finally find out whether the Martian core was shut down or it died out on its own. And we would be able to predict the destiny of our own home world. And 3,000! My lord! That is humongous! But we want to uh, decide before anyone reaches this dome how we're setting it up. So, age group, I'd prefer no children. Seniors, I'll allow. Just if for uh, only getting them out of the other places. We want botanists. Definitely. And we also want engineers. Definitely. I would prefer no non-specialized personnel come over here. Um, we are going to want geologists because we're going to be doing significant mining here. Um, I think when we move all of the factories over here, we're going to want more scientists in the smaller dome that we had. So I'm not going to I'm not going to request scientists, engineers, geologists, and botanists. That makes sense. So I'll apply that. And other than that, that's really it. There's, there's nothing else really in terms of the specializations. I think that's good enough for me. Good enough for me for now. Mm 
<laughs> You're so white, you're fading into the background. I am actually remarkably pale. But yeah, that's just the sunlight coming through. I could turn off the webcam if the sun is making it too distracting, though. Just let me know. And Bob, finally, we should start seeing people deciding to leave now. We should start seeing a couple of people wanting to go. As you can see there, people are leaving. They're using the uh, shuttle pods to to move around, which is great. Research uh, complete. I wouldn't mind getting a, a new couple of new shuttles. How many can I maintain here? Sure. That is well worth it, in my opinion. Arcology has been completed. Fantastic. Okay, with our ecology complete. Ooh, Mars Novu. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, building construction costs in metal and concrete reduced by 20%, excluding domes. It's good. Uh, it's not great, but it's good. Uh, increased oxygen power storage capacity by 50%. That I like. So let's grab that one first. Then do a lot of outsourcing again. We've finally got enough money that we can afford to get some serious researching going on. And we're almost self-sufficient at this point. It's taken us a while, but we're almost there. I want you to go and uh, recharge. You're still full of electronic parts, so I'm not going to send you anyway. There we go, we've got people moving in down here. Let's have a look at the colonists that we've got. Two seniors, one middle-aged. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Uh, right, we are going to want... This open, and this. Should be pretty awesome once that's all set up. Now then how else is everything going around here? This is the only place now that, that actively is requesting um, colonists that have no specializations. Over here we should start seeing more and more and more of the non-specialized colonists leaving. Ideally. Um. I could just ask them to leave. Um, there's now enough room that we could ask them to leave, at the very least. That being said, I think I'll give it some time before I use any drastic measures like that. We're fully charged. They're just hanging out. Research complete. There we go. Hive mind is complete. That simple. Uh, right. That is actually amazing. Because with that, it makes sense for us to now start building these. They're expensive. Well, reasonably. But they look amazing. Look at it. It goes through. It goes through the roof. Uh, right. Okay. Um, make it so. Three electronic parts for that. More and more um, shuttles being made. We do need more people over here, like, quite badly, actually. Uh, I could, at this point, bring along some more people from Earth, actually. Uh, sure. Got 28 matching colonists. Uh, specializations, I'd like engineers and botanists. 
primarily. Um, also, geologists can come along too. Uh, perks wise, doesn't really matter to me particularly. Okay, go ahead and launch. That shuttle we can drop down around here just to help out this, this colony get uh, on its feet. Got a reasonably small workforce here, and it's generally just the people that, that aren't elsewhere. So, uh, only we've got four uh, seniors here. That's actually a lot of the population in that dome is, uh, aren't going to be working. Worried about the food, though. Anomaly analyzed. As soon as I get this one up and running, we're going to be setting this one just to produce quinoa for a little while. I just want this one making lots and lots and lots of quinoa. As fast as it possibly can. There's Mutex. more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you... Okay. Oh, we've got... Behavioral, uh, behavioral shaping. New spire building, the sanatorium. Treat colonists to remove floors. That is especially useful. We do want that. That can go into ooh, deep water extraction. Uh, can exploit deep water deposits. Water res reserves the size of Lake Superior are predicted to be present deep beneath the surface. That would solve some of our concerns. Uh, but that is going to be important. We'll probably build that in this dome over here. And this will just be a dome where our colonists are developed. So the young uh, are, are nurtured. Um, people are, are trained to have various vocations. And those with flaws are helped to manage those flaws. I'm afraid I'm going to need to turn this on. Womp. We're still... We've still got a water shortage. That is... A bit scary, actually. Hmm. Okay, you're good to go now. But that is scary. The nearest deposit is here. It's average. Okay, that's... We're going to have to hit that one then. Uh, drone hub. Sure, we'll get you set up right there. But this is going to necessitate an annoying amount of uh, pipe works. Oh well. It is kind of cool connecting up all these pipes, though. I'll be honest. There is a part of me that does like it. Uh, pipes going up here as well. And down here, we'll want... Probably a connection to about there. Resources are low. Low on polymers. Yeah. Ah, that was unfortunate. I hadn't noticed that. There we go. Is this one connected up properly? Yes. What about this one? Yeah. Everything else is connected properly. Uh, we really do need more botanists, guys. Got a reasonable amount of uh, units there. How many do we want? Uh, let's go for 29. Let's get another six of them going.
Of course, distant construction is not going to be something we can do for a little while. But yeah, I think that having the uh, sanatorium in there would be a wise move. But this is going to be a problem for me. We've got enough food to last a while, but... Hmm. The apples here will be re ready reasonably soon. What I could do instead is have one apple, two quinoa, one apple, two quinoa. That would hold us out for a little bit. That would expand, expand things a, a tiny bit. Oh, thanks, an amazing girl. So you can get some blackout curtains. Also, have a nice sleep. Uh, let me see. I didn't turn the brightness up, actually. Uh, I don't think I did. Anyway, let me uh, double check for you, though. Of course, my webcam controller doesn't want to work now. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Sorry for the delay, everyone. Oh, yeah, that should work. Twelve passages. Let's get you down here. By the way, I think. Yeah, I can imagine it's a lot better, actually. Uh, thanks for reminding me to check. Milestone achieved. One hundred colonists! Hurrah! So. Soul New Sentinel. colonists have arrived. There we go. And employed one, my lord. Well, that's a nice problem to have. Right, what I want is to get this one finished reasonably soon. And now that we've got drones active again, uh, sorry, the shuttle's active again, that shouldn't be too bad. Likewise, hopefully we can get all of this sorted reasonably soon as well. Once that's built, I don't have to worry about this area because one drone set up here will more than... Uh, be more than adequate to keep that running. Oh, no polymers. Resources are low. Yeah. What are the polymers being used on? Possibly this? The dome itself requires polymers. Oh, dread. That is unfortunate. Uh, well, you know what, then? Where's my transport? Because we've got polymers. What I don't have is the means to Research move it around complete. particularly quickly. Uh, 
Triboelectric scrubbing has been researched and deep metal extraction. Fantastic. At this point, it makes sense for us to actually look into deep scanning so that we can start scanning all over again and looking for all of the other kinds of awesome things. Uh, actually... No, I'm going to grab that one instead. Why are you going that way when you could just use the tunnel, you derp? My lord. Right. Ah, someone's moving from this dome to another one. There we go. We've got that done. Should be able to drop off the polymers over here. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I'm going to want to wear metals. Um, storage there. Right, there we go. That should mean that we can either A... Well, actually, the dome itself should get a massive priority on, on um, repairs. Yeah, there we are. You finished there. Let's get you to more resources. Resources are low. Seven buildings are now out of... Oh, damn it. And this is no longer a case of they don't have the materials. It's a case of I don't have the uh, drones to move them around fast enough, which is a massive pain. Pipe leak bum. reported. All right. Let's grab mechanical parts and start shuffling them around ourselves. I could build another drone. Uh, shuttle hub. That might be worth it. I think it probably is, actually. But that itself is going to require polymers and, in fact, uh, electronics, which I don't have. Uh, on that note... A little worrisome. But, no. no. No, we're going to wait on that one. See how things are going. Uh, making our way through Martian Resilience, which is going to be a big help with the sanity loss that people are suffering from working outdoors. That'll be a big help, actually. Just waiting on the concrete to get this arcology up and running. Three different pipe leaks. Oh my lord. The amount we're probably losing right now, yeah, a huge amount of loss. And a lot of our buildings are down as well. I need you to come down here and drop off some... Uh, Items. There we go. Should be able Anomaly to get everything analyzed. sorted now. Should get everything running again. I 
perfect. And a couple of people asked about the, the whole dust thing. Once it's been maintained, it no longer has any dust to speak of. Right, if you go and have a look at that for me. Uh, right, go ahead and take off. Now that we're no longer constantly ferrying fuel around, that should be a little bit better. Uh, still waiting on this to be repaired, but... That's just gonna be the case for now. Resources I think. are low. Polymers and food are low. Yes, they are. Yes, they most indeed are. Uh, what we're waiting on here is just getting the extra concrete. I'm actually gonna increase that in priority for now. And hopefully can manage to get that resolved. Got some food being delivered or picked up? Picked up. All right, okay. Breakthrough discovered. Ooh, frictionless composites. Wind turbine power production increased by 100%. Through clever application of graphene and carbon-based frictionless materials, we have managed to maximize the push of the Martian wind while minimizing the friction, which slows down the rotor's rotation cycle, thus delivering far more bang for every buck of wind. That is pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, let's get that one as a priority. Then I think we're going to need some extra money. Rather sharpish, too. There we go. The colonists arriving, good. Got oh, eight adults now, a couple of youths. This place is starting to fill out a little bit. There we are. Starting to see a decent amount of people working on that farm. Oof. That, these farms, however, are going to be high priorities for now. When it comes to uh, people working, they get the priority. Really, they should have had the priority for a while. Uh, okay, I'm going to need to send a rocket with food. This is not something I was expecting to have to do, but that will keep us going for a long while. Uh, I'll just cut that back a little bit. And launch. Okay. Now 23 people in there. Water is being produced at a decent rate. Wouldn't mind upgrading it. Not going to need that for a while, but uh, it is useful all the same. Hopefully we can get this set up reasonably soon. Polymers of food. Ah, there we go. Some funding. Thank goodness. Actually, we're going to want a bunch of electronics. We're reasonably close now to being in a position to not need more electronics, but... Uh, at this point, we're finally using the third rocket. It's been a long, bloody time. Hello, Feranomac. Hello, all. What have I missed so far? What kind of elevation bonus are your wind generators receiving? About 50%. Uh, 55%, I think it is. Feranomac 3. There you go. And... Launch. Uh, elevation boost is 55%, yeah. I've currently got a bunch of them down here. Eh, they're not great, but with frictionless, uh, that's actually going to be amazing. Uh, once that's researched, it's going to be just gigantically awesome. Uh, in fact, I think that's 
important enough that we push it through. I am indeed still streaming. I know. Crazy. This is the thing. Is I enjoy streaming so much that when I get the chance to do it, I gorge on it. And then I regret it because I'm behind on a bajillion other things. Like, even in the back of my head right now, I'm like, yeah, I really need to get stuff ready for YouTube. Uh, why is life never simple? Alright, I would like you to continue gathering metals, please. And ferrying them over here. There we go. Excellent. Right. Cable fault reported. We'd like this to get quinoa, quinoa, quinoa. Just keep producing quinoa for now. That's all I want. Two souls, and we get a a, a lump of food. Uh, actually. No, the food is. Important enough right now that I'm not going to mess around with, with getting better soil. I know that ultimately that would help. But I'm going to focus right now on just getting the food being produced. Oh, man. It finally happened. A fault in the backup system. Oh, it's not awful, I suppose. I think Avak is slightly addicted to <laughs> Simone Mars. Wow. The shoe fits, I suppose. Evening or even morning, Mr. Avak. Loving the look of this game. Looks complicated, yet kind of user friendly once you learn it. Yes. Yes. Very much like Planet Base. Planet Base was a hard game to master. You could easily mess yourself up if you weren't uh, prepared for what you were doing. But. Uh, it was a very clean game. Very clean. We built this yet, really? Still waiting on the electronic parts. Hmm. Both are on their way, though. Should arrive soon. Food wise, we are ugh, rough. Resources are low. Rough right now. We'll be okay, but it'll it'll be super fine. It'll be super, super close. Especially because we've got an enormous um, delivery of food on the way. It'll give us enough of a buffer to not have to worry uh, any further about it. But idle extractors, ah, uh, it finally happened. Finally happened. Rip. Very well. Now let's dig you up then. I believe this is a food delivery, so I'll put it to the place which has the least food, even though it's the only one that, that's, well, actually. The day claimed it, our last living founder, <gasps> spelling the end of an era for us all. Hecate had a dream to see humanity united, conquering the stars, and Hecate allowed nothing to stand in the path of this dream. No hardship, no loss, not even personal safety. What more can anyone else, uh, can anyone be asked to do? We had known many m women and men of character, of strength and virtue. Any one of them might have stepped into Hecate's place and we would be none the wiser. But we know why Hecate chose this path. When a heart as big and strong beats in one chest, it gives no other option but to follow its call. When Hecate fell, it left a void. Do not let it take over your hearts, friends. Do not mourn the icon of good that we have lost. Rather, rise up and become the icon yourself. Let this death be not a blow against the will of humanity to grow. Learn and conquer new frontiers. Uh, there we are. Rest in peace. 